So many people to thank. So little time. I promise, Buck, I'll get through this as quickly as possible. I want to thank Marv Albert. I didn't realize he was doing that video, but you talk about all-time idols in my life. Marv is right at the top of the list, so thank you to Marv. I want to thank all of my broadcast partners over the years. That includes Chris Majkowski as well, but no one more so than my friend Gary. And um, to think, Gary, uh, that our uncles, Lindsey, Bob, and Ralph, looking down at us right now, that makes this day all the more magical. Thank you guys for inspiring me. And thank you, of course, is the operative term of this day. And the people to whom I owe the most are my family, my parents, my brother Bruce, my sister Debbie, supported this dream from its inception. That's inception. My beautiful wife, Barbara, and my daughters, Alyssa and Chelsea, who are up the first baseline. You're all the loves of my life and have endured this crazy lifestyle without complaint. Special thanks as well to Dr. Reza Marazin and his incredible staff at Mount Sinai Hospital. And of course, many thanks to Steve and Alex Cohen for all that you have done to honor the wonderful history and tradition of the New York Mets. Now listen, I may be the one down here being honored right now but trust me, each and every one of you are down here with me because I think you know that we are kindred spirits. Like many of you, I grew up right next door at a place called Shea Stadium where I spent some of the happiest moments of my youth, none more so than in the summer of 1969. Many of those with my lifelong friend, Dr. Robert Joseph, who is here today as well. But that team, the 1969 world champions, changed my life, convincing me and countless others that anything was possible as long as you worked hard and believed in yourself. They might have been my boyhood heroes, and I've been incredibly blessed to call many of them friends. But I'll clue you in on this. They still look 10 feet tall to me today. And so, Eddie and Art, I am so honored to have you with me on this most special day. And I'm also humbled to be part of this special group of friends with me on the field today. Congratulations to Howard, to Al, Gary, and of course, Jay. I'm incredibly proud to join you as inductees. Now, I've had the opportunity to call quite a few special moments in Mets history, including Johan Santana's no-hitter, Mike Piazza's home run, you know, the one that had a chance while it was headed towards Great Neck. There's a story behind that, by the way, for another time. But that home run gave this city a chance to smile so soon after its greatest tragedy. My biggest thrill so far was delivering the words, the Mets win the pennant on that wonderful night in Chicago in 2015. But I am holding out for one more call, the one we've been waiting for, for somebody to make for far too long. But I'm confident that those guys over there in the first base dugout, from Buck Showalter right on down, they are capable of getting that done and taking the long-awaited ride down the Canyon of Heroes. It's time. Now, there's a game to be played. So in closing, I just want to tell you something. 
There have been a lot of wonderful people who have come through this organization since it opened for business in 1962. But I'm going to guarantee you this. There has never been anyone, not a player, a manager, a coach, or an executive, who could possibly say that they are any prouder to be a New York Met than I am. And you can put that in the books. It's almost time to play ball. So from the bottom of my heart, I thank you all for this incredible honor. Thank you.